You know a little bit about the machine, it's time to take it for a workout. We're going to do a circuit workout. We're going to utilize the whole body vibration trainer as well as some objects that you might be familiar with. Some medicine balls, a mat, a towel. I want you to have some water close by if you're going to be working out with me. And a stability ball. And we're going to use all these objects. Now what I want to do is warm up the body first. The best way to do it is to start with my legs. I'm going to get on top of the plate. I'm going to start the plate, put it at 45 frequency for a minute. And now what I'm doing is I'm driving straight down through the feet. And if you notice my body position, I'm not way back here with my shoulders. I'm keeping my chest and shoulders over the center of my body and weighted downward to put as much weight as I possibly can on the feet. Now, as you're pushing down, I want you to gently push down and slightly out at the same time, like you're trying to tear the plate in half. In that process, you're creating a firm wall of contraction that comes up on the outside of the thighs. You'll feel it all the way through your glutes. And as you're pressing down, pressing outward, lock the buns at the same time. Good, hold it right there. Now when you're doing this, you want to breathe, because like any other exercise, because we're using these muscles 45 times per second, they need oxygen. So you want to breathe deep the entire time you're exercising. Do not hold your breath. Okay, now I want you to watch my feet. I'm going to add a little time on here. Now all I'm doing is taking one foot across the body and putting it behind the opposite foot. This front foot, I'm keeping all my weight right into that heel. So as I come across, all the weight's going to this hip. I'm going to do one more time and then change sides. Good. Right after this exercise, we're going to go to a functional movement that's going to utilize what we just worked. You really feel it pick up as you come across the leg. Good. Now I want you to stay on the plate until it's completely stopped. Let that wave go through your body. Then I'm going to get on top here, put my foot on the step, and I'm going to lift, pressing straight down doing a step up. And when I do the step up, let me show you from the other angle so you can see it. I'm putting the weight through my heel on top. And that is making the muscles and the hamstring and the butt all fire, the ones that I was just working and warming up on the plate. I'm gonna do just two more like this. One more time, I'm gonna turn around and show you the other side too. So I'm lifting. Now watch my leg that comes in front, I'm pulling that foot out in front, not underneath me. I want it to be really heavy. So when I bring the leg out in front, it makes this part of my hamstring and glute really work to support my body. Got a couple more, one more, and then I'm going right back to the plate, but I'm gonna go right to the upper body to get the blood flow going up there. Now, if you do push-ups all the time, you might wanna do them on your toes. If you don't, it's okay to come down to your knees, but you're gonna come down to the plate, letting your arms come out to the sides, not behind you, out to the sides, and push up. The whole time, if you look at my hands, I'm holding firm on the plate. The more surface area of your hands that are pressed into the plate, the better, because you're gonna get more reaction from those muscles. Now, I'm going to stay down here about halfway. Now, if you come right in, you can see the muscles actually contracting, holding position 45 times per second. To stay in this one position, my muscles are having to contract eccentrically and concentrically. They're shortening and lengthening, shortening and lengthening at a rate that I couldn't even create myself, but the plate is allowing me to do it. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to go back into the push-up mode now, all the way up, all the way down, going to a full range of motion. Good. Almost done. And every time you hear this countdown, that means you're at the end of that cycle. Hold it here. Perfect. Now right away, to use that same muscle group again, I'm going to take this elastic tube. I have it anchored right onto the machine itself. And I'm going to come across the body. As I'm coming across the body, I'm working my pecs, I'm working my biceps, and I'm working the core. So I'm working the entire body as well as working the upper body, just like I did on the plate. I got one more to go like this. Here we go. Now with both hands, I'm going to press across the body, working more specifically in the waistline. We're going to go right from this exercise to a waistline exercise on the device itself. Let me do a couple more. One more. Excellent. Now I'm not going to do the other side because you know what that looks like, but I'm going to get right back on the top here, going into a side plank. Okay? This would be my position. Let me start the machine. Now for the side plank, I want you to stay nice and tall through your waist. You'll see I'm in one straight line. It's a nice diagonal line. You don't want to be down here, and my elbow is specifically anchored right beneath my shoulder. So if you see the alignment, it's perfect. If I was out here, that'd be too far away. If it was under here, it's too close. It puts too much pressure into the shoulder. So I'm nice and even. All my weight from my fingertip to my elbow is pressed through the device, and I'm holding up tall. Now to make it harder, if you roll under, reaching behind you, and then come right back up, you're increasing that work through the body. But as you're doing this, you want to make sure that you don't dip through the waistline. Got it? Okay, let's do one more. 
Excellent. I'm gonna hold it right here. You can make this harder too by making it only on one leg. That's really increased the resistance underneath here to make me have to help with all those internal and external oblique muscles. I'm almost done. Excellent. Now I'm gonna come down to the ground. I'm gonna immediately grab my stability ball. Now we worked my waistline. Obviously I would have done the other side, but I wanna not do both sides for you so we can fit as much in as we can. I'm gonna come down to the ball, bring myself onto it in the middle, and twist. As I'm twisting, I'm working the same exact muscle group in a different firing sequence than I did when I was on the whole body vibration machine. So I'm maximizing the effect and contraction of the muscles I just worked because they've already been active. The muscle memory, you may have heard of that term before, it kicks in immediately. And the biggest amount of reaction you're gonna get from the muscles will be immediately after you get off the plate. So you wanna try and use exercises that mimic the movements that you just worked. You got two more and one more. Good, now it's time to go back to the legs. Gonna get this back here, get in on top, gonna set the timer up, go into a single leg movement where I'm gonna be hanging back. But as I'm hanging back, I'm pulsing, pushing down through the heels. Watch as I'm going down, this knee is not going forward. It's not pushing frontward, it's pushing down and back. So I'm reaching with the hip, adding weight, adding weight, down, good. I'm gonna just do one more and then switch legs, staying nice and low. And we're gonna do two exercises for this one. We're gonna stretch out the hamstring and the glute, maximizing the contraction in those areas. And then I'm gonna relax the hamstrings and relax and loosen up the lower back, all in the same cycle. One more time. I'm gonna get on top of the plate, going parallel to the plate. I'm gonna bend my knees slightly and come straight down. Just like this. And maybe if I can show you from the side, you're gonna see that my body is going straight down to the ground. I'm not leaning over and waiting into the toes. All my weight is flat to the feet. And to make it a little more intense, I can stretch out the legs a little bit, gets more into the hamstring. If I bend the legs a little bit, it goes more into the lower back. So I'm working essentially the lower body and the mid part of the body to relax it and loosen it up. Because next we're gonna to go to an ab movement. Almost done. Another 12 seconds. And again, I can straighten the legs a little bit to get more hamstring, bend them, get a little more lower back. Straighten and bend. Excellent. Okay, abs and legs, let's combine a movement. I'm gonna take this medicine ball. I'm gonna take it, bring it to my hip, and I'm gonna swing around. Let's drop into this movement. Now I'll show you from the side. I'm using the same muscles that we just worked on top of the plate but I'm also now incorporating a rotation from my core. So I'm recirculating the blood, I'm utilizing all the muscles we just worked, and maximizing my caloric expenditure. Okay, I'm gonna change sides now, other side. One, two, two, nice. And all I'm doing is keeping that heart rate up. Your heart rate does go up slightly when you're using whole body vibration training, but these circuit workouts with the movements in between really bring that heart rate up. Okay, that was the last one. Excellent, okay, I'm coming down now. Back to a plank, let me get this out of the way. This time my plank's gonna be both arms. And I'm gonna alternate lifting one leg at a time, squeezing the glutes. Let me go ahead and start. Now watch, I'm tucked tight at the hips and I lift just enough to activate the glute muscles. As I'm lifting the leg, I'm focusing on pressing downward through the arms. It's an even press from my wrist to my elbows. Keeping the abs tucked tight. Nice and tight. Good. I'm gonna do two more. One more, I'm gonna hold it right here. Now this is a hard one. I'm gonna bring my feet a little bit wider. Lift one arm. Lift the other arm. As you do this, you want your stomach totally engaged. Your abs engaged. Your hips tucked. One more on each side. Awesome. Holding here, locking the buns, locking the stomach. Eight seconds left. You can really feel the heat starting to build up, starting to get a good sweat going. Excellent. Good, now I'm gonna come up. Now, I don't know if you like to jump rope. I love jumping rope, but I'm indoors, so I can't use a regular jump rope, so I've got this special speed rope for myself. So in between, do a quick set of jumping rope. 
So if you can't jump rope in your apartment because you have, well, maybe not a good jump or you don't have a place that you can do it, these are great because you won't hear it on the floor. You don't miss a skip. I can do all sorts of tricky maneuvers and I never miss. It's no problem. It makes me look like I'm a pro. Well, amateur pro. Try it. This is gonna last for about 30 seconds to a minute. And you wanna make it harder, you can alternate leg lifts, squeezing the stomach. You need to focus on my shoulders, bring it a little bit wider, chest up nice and tall. You can hear in my voice, I'm breathing a little heavy, my heart rate's up. That's the goal of a circuit workout. Keep your heart rate up as much as you can. Burn a lot of calories, make a lot of muscle, get a lot accomplished. Okay, another couple seconds here. Three, two, and one. All right, putting this back down. Now, what I want to do is I want to work the legs a little differently. I'm going to get back up here. This is a squat, but this is what I call a repeater squat, where I put all my weight in my left foot and my glutes are pushed far back. Now I'm just lifting this foot, lifting this foot. As I lift it, all of the weight shifts to my left leg, forcing more contraction, forcing more contraction. You really feel this one. Good. I'm going to change legs. Now the same thing, you can see as I lift up, I'm keeping that foot almost flat like a duck foot. I'm not lifting and pointing the toe, it's just literally unloading the weight and reloading the weight. As I reload the weight, I even push my hips further back, so maximizing the hamstring and glute involvement. Good. Little change again. Coming one, two, just switching from side to side to focus on the outer hip. Just do a few of these. Then I'm gonna to come to the center. Now watch this foot. I'm gonna turn it. Both knees are bent, pushing firm down, but I don't straighten out the legs. I keep them bent and I'm really working deep into the inside of the calf. Feels great. I'm gonna switch sides. Maximizing the contraction throughout the entire leg. We're almost at the end here. Good. Now to use the legs, I'm gonna do a lunge. I'm gonna use a lighter ball. I'm gonna to come towards you. I'm gonna start with the ball on one hip, lunge forward and come back. Notice as I go down, let me show you from this angle, that all the weight stays evenly over my ankle. I'm not putting pressure forward. So I really wanna maximize the larger parts of the muscles in the legs, which are gonna be better to burn calories and keep you safe. The larger muscles being the hamstrings, the glutes and the quadriceps. If you go forward in your knee, you're putting all that pressure into your knee itself and working more through your shin. It's not good, I'm gonna change sides now. Down, good. Almost there. Keeping the heart rate up. One more time. Excellent, time for some dips. I'm gonna go right to the arms. Got it on 45 for a minute. Feet out in front, notice my feet. I have my feet up so I can pivot easily. I'm going straight down and straight up. Good. As I go down, right there, there's a sweet spot you can feel. That's the most amount of resistance. If you want to stay there and hold it there for a few seconds, hold it for as long as you can, breathing deep, and then go back into action. Taking a little bit of a pause will help to build up the resistance in that muscle. Then going right back into motion helps you to create that flexibility and strength through the full range of motion better. So you're actually increasing strength and flexibility at the same time. This is good. A couple more. Now you wanna make it harder as you push up Lift one foot off the ground. Just one, just like that. To make it even harder, keep one foot off the ground. Show you on this side. Boy, it's burning. I can feel it. Awesome. And you wanna wait until the vibration's completed its cycle. It's almost there. Good. Uh, excellent. Now that is a circuit workout with the whole body vibration machine. You saw very simple tools added to this workout, but it is surrounded by the whole body vibration. Without that, you're not getting as an efficient and effective workout. And I'm not gonna be sore tomorrow because the blood was circulating so efficiently that I just got stronger, not weaker.